Plenty of smiles today here in the centre of Tinval, school number six, where we're standing right now. Uh, a lot of kids and children have already gathered for the first lessons. Uh, you know, usually on the 1st of September, what I see is uh, the children are rather disappointed their summer is over. What we're seeing right now here is quite the opposite. The kids are very happy to see each other, to see their uh, parents and their teachers safe and sound. So they're very looking very smart in their uh, black and white uniforms uh, very glad to see each other again and the beginning and at the beginning of their school year is the 1st of September as they thought it would be uh, around 1,100 children are starting the school year, the academic year, today on the 1st of September in Tinval. That's around a third of all the kids of school age. Uh, seven schools out of 14 will be opening their doors. This is why many schools will be running uh, multi-shifts. Uh, the first lesson will begin at around 10 a.m., that's in one hour's time. And the first lesson in every school be, will be a lesson of peace. The teachers will be talking to their children, uh, talking about what has happened in the month of August when the Georgian attacks occurred and how important it is to uh, live in peace between different people, between different nations, that this is the only way lives will not be lost. And the second lesson today in every school of Tinval will be uh, security training. Russia's emergency ministry officers will be uh, teaching children how to act in different circumstances, for example, during bombings. They will be talking about uh, what mistakes the kids were making during the attacks of, the, of uh, Georgia in the beginning of August. Uh, so uh, to minimize the risks, uh, Russia's emergency ministry officers will be teaching children first aid techniques and everything they need to act in these very difficult circumstances as the atrocities of this war are still fresh in their memories. Uh, also, everything the children need uh, will, uh, has been delivered or will be delivered in the nearest future by humanitarian aid. Uh, these are rucksacks, 60,000 textbooks will be handed out today, uh, pencils, crayons, everything they need. Even uniforms will, will be brought to the kids. Uh, also, uh, 500 meters in front of me, you don't see it, is the University of Tinval, which has been almost completely destroyed. The only part of the building which remains intact is the bio biology uh, chair, and the students of the Tinval University will be gathering there today for the grand opening of the 1st of September, of course. Uh, also, the students of the Univ University of Tinval have been helping out massively in rebuilding their university. Their uh, mates from uh, North Ossetia have also been arriving here to rebuild the university uh, and they've been bringing furniture, chairs, tables and everything uh, the university needs. Also, the focus of the reconstruction work of Tsinval over the past couple of days has been, of course, restoring schools and getting them ready for the 1st of September. Around four, 400 people have been working with Russia's special construction agency, Spetsstroy, which has been working day and night, hiring local residents and, well, to pay them money, of course, to help them rebuild their own city. And uh, uh, what I can say is, uh, from what I saw, their work has been rather quick and rather efficient. And also, uh, I've talked to some of the kids this morning. They're very glad, of course, that uh, the, they will start school on the 1st of September. Some were afraid they wouldn't be able to do so. And the parents are also very, very happy that their kids could make it before the 1st of September back to their homes. Most have been coming back uh, from, uh, from refugee camps to South Ossetia, to their homes, for, in order for their kids to make it in time for the 1st of September. They're very glad they could do so because this is a very important step for their children to realize that their lives really are coming back to normal, Bill.